Long overdue vlogs. Footage I shot quite some time ago, but didn't get around to finally editing till much later. It's long overdue vlogs. July 2nd, 2015. Five years ago. My 28th birthday and my first birthday as a California resident. So I had all my friends over for a big party, and towards the end of that party was a big round of a game that is known by many names. Some call it Telephone Pictionary, some call it Telestrations, some call it Cranium Scribblish, some call it Scrawl. For some reason, my social circle calls it Boob Tree. I'm not sure why, but that's just the name we know it as. It's the game where you write a sentence and then the next person draws it and then the next person writes what they think that's a picture of. You know the game. Anyway, here's the results of our round of that game five years ago. Okay, I started with... You give love a bad name. Sure. <laughs> and number two is a stick figure giving a heart the name tag Sven. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's a bad name. <laughs> That's what I thought. It's pretty bad. <laughs> and, which got translated by Jared to Swedish love. <laughs> Interpreted as an IKEA heart. Slot A into tap B. Slot A into tap B for IKEA. IKEA. IKEA instructions are love. IKEA instructions are life. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm starting to see how we got there. As the board game life. <laughs> ah, yeah. yes. So uh, there we go. Okay, it's I don't know how to live straight life without writing the word life, so I was just... No, did I get that? <laughs> coffee table books are love, and coffee table books are maps. <laughs> that, was, that was Lizzie. <laughs> which, which prompted me to poorly draw this. The, a coffee table on a... Coffee table book on a coffee table equals heart equals a map of the world. Yep. My diary is in love with my map of the world. So we started with you give love a bad name and it ended with my diary is in love with my map of the world. <laughs> At least the love still. Love, love stayed constant. So. Shot through the heart. You're yep. to blame, baby. My diary. He's in love with my map of the world. Map of the world. I did not start with something as sensical. No, I you guess, didn't. No, you didn't. As a Bon Jovi lyric, my sentence was: the genie turned his racist master into a polka dotted frog swan. <laughs> because you hate everybody. Yeah. You don't. <laughs> and so you drew. Middle finger dick Nick. No, no, middle finger you Nick. <laughs> oh, you Nick. It was just fuck you <laughs> Nick. <laughs> there was no attempt to interpret what I wrote. Jared, that's cheating. Come on. <laughs> Which led to Jared is visibly angry at Nick. I interpreted it. I had no idea what my was. I had no idea what number one was, so I had to go off number two because it's yeah, impossible. Which led to this which led to oh my god a nerdy man stares awkwardly out of a vagina after it has had tubes tied <laughs> what the way he turned to Jared was to have little sticks and in with circles, but he drew X's over them. So like, oh my god! Look, he was trying to draw. A Which led to this picture? I am not Fallopian Tube. Uh, <laughs> 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 right there. I am not Fallopian Tube. Which led to. Glasses man is confused by the floating scars. <laughs> That's <a> scars. That one is a seer. Seer. That one is a Which would well, explain that's my this picture <laughs> of the floating seers? I apologize. That's my handwriting. My handwriting is even worse than my drawing. More accurate than what I wrote down. Haley is on the ground. 
Bailey. <laughs> okay, I peeked at the end. So this explains a lot <laughs> how we got to Arnold the Alien dislikes S Mart. Because it was a giant store that just said S. I couldn't write Sears. Pirates. And your man looked like an alien. I feel mildly cheated, so, but not by much. So it started with well, blank and ended. started with the genie turned as racist a master into a polka dotted frog swan, which immediately turned into fuck you, Nick, which turned into Arnold the alien dislikes S Mart. <laughs> it might have been how the fuck do you draw that. You draw you it. You try it. You draw a genie. Hey, you draw, hey, genie. You draw a frog you draw swan. You got the polka dots. You can get a genie. Why is a frog neck of a swan? This is not rocket science. That is your job. Jared, Jared, Jared. Or a swan with just the tongue of a frog, like. Yeah. There, there are multiple. Okay. Use yep. your imagination. You just gotta open your mind to the possibility. Give, give, us, give us what you got. Okay. Alright, so I started with aim for the flat top, which uh, translated into this. It's a wrestling term, I think. No, it's from Ghostbusters. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's uh. <laughs> which changed to. That day, the lone sniper fought bravely against the nerdy giant Arnold Schwarzenegger, spelled kind of weird. Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. It was like Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger is what he wrote. Do you think where he wears Schwarzenegger? It's not a tour. Okay. Okay, now I know how Lizzie got to. To the sniper killed the oncologist's medication. <laughs> because it's not a tumor. <laughs> Which, this is just weird. Yeah. So we'll see. There, this was my drawing. See, there's the sniper in the window, and there's the medication bottle being so shot at. Totally wrong. And there's. You know, it's it death go. a sniper involved. Which <laughs> turned into a, a man with a blow dart shot my prescription. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I see how that got to where I do this. <laughs> I love the touch of him just going, hey. <laughs> and we, we went from aim for the flat top to he shot a poison dart at me, but I blocked it with the law, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> With the law? <laughs> With the law! <laughs> it looked like a contract. It was like. <laughs> he, had like a, he was holding out a stack of papers that were like, I'm like, okay. With the law! Alright, Haley, what do we have here? Okay. And the law one! So. So the only thing I can think of when we were writing phrase oh. phrases is Jim Belushi drowning in a sea of diarrhea. Sure. Thank <laughs> you. Classic. Which Charlie decided to. I want you to draw all Charlie's as... pictures and tell me how many look like that. <laughs> Let me see. That's, see that's not that. This is Charlie's what? interpretation of Jim Belushi drawing. Okay. No, no, you, no, you, you that, can that see it knowing the yeah. phrase, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he read what you said and he interpreted it, Jared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up. Ah. And when, up, dude. Not seeing the phrase, Zach interpreted it as an old man getting drowned by a rainbow. <laughs> oh, I know what was was an ass on that picture. <laughs> I saw two stripes. It looked like a rainbow. A, a very, very weak rainbow. It looked like a rainbow. It was Which a Which Lizzie interpreted as this, this much grander. Yep. Uh, lucky charm sort of deal. And uh, it was written, the rainbow killed the bearded man. Yep. <laughs> So what we've learned today is that Charlie can't draw. This isn't my fault at all. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that was interpreted by Garrett as, as kind of the rainbow killing the bearded yeah, man. Yeah, quite graphic. Just, yeah. just, just, <laughs> nice and simple. There's got to be one game someone's played of this where it starts off one way, gets really weird about halfway through, and then somehow makes it right back. Makes to it back to normal. Yeah. I think that's happened before. I, I think it happened last time we played. Okay. And that was interpreted by Tony as the evil rainbow of death. Sure. As it should be. Like, but all it can then, the evil rainbow of death! <laughs> <laughs> of fire and then or? after that we've gone full asylum movie. Sure. Uh, with with this full kind of hole in the hole in the abdomen thing. And followed that by Jared saying, Rainbow Impalement. I think Rainbow that's Impalement is the name of my 
What's Toy like, Division what's cover band. What's, what's like, what's what's like a game of metal band? band. Like Fifth Dimension <laughs> cover band, Pink Floyd cover band. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Like Jim I, I was thinking, like, is, is there a band that's, band. like, super metal but also gay? Yeah. So we have gone from Jim Belushi, Drowning in a Sea of Diarrhea, to Rainbow Impalement. And why wouldn't we? Which well, is really the lyric you should have gone with. Someday we'll find the it, the Rainbow, rainbow Impalement. The the Screamers, and Jared. All right, Charlie, what do you have for us? So, screamings and blood. <laughs> Shut up, Garrett. No. I started with, there's no more toilet paper in the women's restroom. <laughs> that should last a while. Yeah. Phrase yeah. I have heard often. <laughs> and so, weird by telling that to me. I guess Zach drew the women's restroom door with like a no sign and like a scared man <laughs> walking into He's the... pointing to it yelling what you wrote down. Oh. Why does she just write no toilet paper? Like, because you can't write toilet paper, so I drew draw toilet, toilet paper. I did. No. I did. Oh. <laughs> and that turned into a man is deathly afraid of the woman's bathroom. <laughs> yep. I like it. Which which then turned into my drawing. <laughs> Oh, Jonathan Banks just realized he went into the women's restroom. Piper and Shroud, what are you doing in the ladies' room? I like, I like that you thought it looked like Jonathan Banks. And Tony drew like a guy going, no urinals, uh-oh. <laughs> He's pretty clearly communicated everything but Jonathan Banks. Incidentally, no urinals, uh-oh is my favorite children's book. <laughs> And then Nick interpreted that as accidentally walking into the women's restroom. Sure. There you go. And Jared just drew a man walking into the women's restroom. That just just drop just oh, dropped the accidentally. That was a door. Okay. That was a door. <laughs> and then it took a left turn into what the hellville. Oh boy. What did Haley write? To the person know. run towards the princess living in the bubble atop the tower. <laughs> what? Because it almost made it full circle, it still made sense. <laughs> she saved it. <laughs> it does have so like women's restroom, women's restroom. It does have a circle restroom. With the door. Princess in the bubble. <laughs> Good job, Haley. Girl in the tower. Hang on, hang on. How is it everyone in this room that doesn't go in the women's restroom knew what it looked like? <laughs> well, I blame I blame Jared's art more than I blame Zach, you're forgetting one other per person. Jonathan Banks. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Lizzie. It's okay. It's okay. There's no more toilet paper in the women's restroom. Turned into the person run towards the princess living in the bubble atop the tower. Oh, Literally at the last minute. We got right, so door. close. <laughs> All right, Zach. Okay, so I started with one in the hand is worth two in the bush. Okay. <laughs> yep. That usually sucks, anyways. Yeah. Which translated to yes. Li li uh, dot, drew this. dot in hand equals Karibo. <laughs> no, that's that's two oh, dots in a bush. Yeah. <laughs> A hole in the hand equals two in the bush is what you interpreted that as. Yeah. I got the general vibe Lizzie was going for. I just went more specific with and it. Then you, so I guess you drew a hole in a hand and then two holes in a bush. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, I got how that turned into. I can't read that. Would you like to interpret that for me? Stigmata equals curly-headed dude. And I'm like, I was like, Tony, do you realize how redundant that is? But that's what it said. <laughs> See, curly-headed dude, stigmata. There. I was like, this, this Jesus, said, it's saying, Jesus equals cherry bushes. <laughs> that I would have had more interesting <laughs> That's what he drew in response, which I'm going to assume goes something. <laughs> It's the Stigmata. Bob Ross, Ross with Stigmata. That's... <laughs> Bob Ross with Stigmata. Which, by the way, that's my new SNL character, Bob Ross with Stigmata. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna, oh, it looks like I'm bleeding all over my mind. You can tell where Haley steps in with the drawings. <laughs> when there's suddenly actual art involved. <laughs> it's because of that that led to this gloriousness. Haley, <laughs> is that anime? Uh, <laughs> Bob Ross paints his masterpiece, Recrucification of Skinny Jesus. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Go back to the picture before that one last time. 
Who is a carpenter? You okay, yeah. So, I want I want this to be known. We got uh, like halfway through the circle before it went just totally into assholeville. <laughs> so we had one in the hand equals two in the bush becomes Bob Ross paints the re-crucifixion of skinny Jesus. <laughs> If it's re-crucification, then why is he skinny Jesus? The re-crucification of skinny Jesus by the coward Robert Ford. Wait, is that what I wrote? The, like, crucifixion? <laughs> the re-cruci- well, the re-crucifixion. I like re-crucification a lot. All right, Lizzie. This one actually stayed pretty similar. Um, so I started with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles going through a car wash. Yeah. Oh, wow. In which Dave drew this. What it was. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm just I glad it read as a car wash. No, but Dave drew really clearly. The Ninja Turtles take the van in for a good scrubbing. <laughs> 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 which turned into these Ninja Turtles. Kind of look like hot dogs. Man. Okay, yeah, but, but I still. I a terrible artist. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all... The preteen Ninja Turtles used to hang out at the car wash after school. <laughs> they look young. This is the, this is the okay. origin story. They were already young. But they look like really young. Just like weirdly young. Just two kids like, in turtle wax. No, no, one turtle wax, the other turtle wax. <laughs> and... I can't even... Oh. Just two cans of turtle wax. Okay. Which two cans full of turtles and wax sit beside each other confused. <laughs> Which is two <laughs> turtle wax. Which it, it got back to the it ninjas. Got back to ninjas. Brain is not working. With two ninja cans and a lighter. Is how that ended. So, teenage two ninja cans and a lighter. Two ninja cans and a lighter. So, teenage mutant ninja turtles going through a car ninja, wash turned into two can ninja can. cans and a lighter. <laughs> the only sentence I could think of was, "I got 99 problems, but puppies ain't one." Oh yes. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but we do have this lovely interpretation. Of a, a gentleman with 99 problems, well, oh, this one. approximately, <laughs> but uh, he's okay with puppies. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what that was. I guess this turned into a gun in, in your mind? Yeah. Beca- beca- because... Oh, I was thinking of a different one, never mind. Be- because, uh, what Tony got to us was, my house is on fire and my crazy friend is shooting himself to dodge blame. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have, uh, you know, this house on fire, this, uh, guy with minion eyes is like, ah, and uh, this gentleman is giggling as he shoots himself. And holds a can of lighter fluid. <laughs> ah, so, so, so he light. actually had a reason. <laughs> now, what Jared brought us was the new Talking Heads album. <laughs> and behold, the new Talking Heads album. Nice, Haley. Oh, okay. You're trying too hard to be clever in this game. That's not how this works. Non non sequiturs aren't gonna cut. True. <laughs> now, this became the two floating male busts are married by the by the sacred CD of holiness. There's which, a hole which, in yeah. it. Which yeah, well it's it, it's spinning. It's got it it's got an aura about it. So yeah, it's a sacred CD of holiness and. Uh, <laughs> Way to draw that holiness. Yes. You're welcome. Look at all of its majesty. <laughs> and here and here we have the busts. Uh, the, the, the CD has a body now. And, uh, and the busts say, I... It has a collar! Yeah. And the busts say, I do. And it got back to Lizzie interpreting it as, the holy cyclops presides over a same-sex wedding. <laughs> So, I got 99 problems, but puppies ain't one, became the holy cyclops presides over a same-sex wedding. Which, honestly, is a sentence I should have started with in the first place. I began with, sorry Tony, Hephaestus, god of the forge, ate my last pudding cup. What was a pudding cup? (laughs) We have Hephaestus and the empty cup, and uh... The disgruntled roommate. <laughs> really did not realize that was a pudding. Uh, I was a, From Nick. I was a glass half full kind of K, but then God drank my optimism. <laughs> <laughs> I did, that is perfect! I did, if you'll notice, if you'll notice in the picture, I, 
God, it right almost on. looks like there's a little one half written on his <laughs> stomach. Wait, what? <laughs> on his stomach where his hands are, it looks like one oh half God. is like written there. So I'm like, that's, God, you're right. I'm like, that's so, probably not there. Oh, but wow. now the glass is empty. <laughs> so maybe. <laughs> By the way, when we start our emo band, God Drank My Optimism will be the album title. <laughs> so I was a half glass full kind of guy, but then God Drank My Optimism. There's, there's primarily God Drinking Optimism. God has given holy approval to the spiky-haired youth. I am trying to draw anger lights. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, that's not the job. I'm a young-looking sick figure. <laughs> nice try, okay. Terrible. There's, you can tell when it got near I think God is, I think God is black in this. <laughs> God's pointing with his big black finger. Okay. So yeah, social justice, way to go, Charlie. Praise <laughs> <laughs> the sun's penis. What? Zach! What? And praise the, praise the sun's penis. So, so, from Lizzie, okay. So yeah, Liz, I Lizzie. Take a picture and tell me it doesn't so, look like the sun has a giant. I would like penis. to point out that you made my sister draw a picture of the sun's penis and hand it to me. <laughs> this is on you. And, and rounding things off, we have sing the praises of the sun penis worship it. Come on, everybody! Just that let me just... sing one more. <laughs> Hallelujah! Sing the praise to the. S okay, so I didn't sorry. write that much. <laughs> Hephaestus, god of the forge, ate my last pudding cup. You can't sing the praises of the sun penis. Worship it. Well, you kept the deity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how you play.